Hi, Brian. Welcome to PLZ Soccer. Can you? Um, it's lovely to have you with us. Can you just kind of fill us in on the last few days? A fairly momentous result for Thistle's women team on Sunday afternoon to set up their first ever national final. Yes, to be honest, it's been a crazy 40 hours. We knew going into the game it was going to be a hard task to go and beat a full-time team, but I thought on the day, I thought Hibs' first 15 minutes probably started the better. But after that, I thought my team were excellent. They executed the game plan really, really well, and Megan Cunningham's not really had the safety make, so that just shows you how well my players played. The conditions were horrendous for both teams, but I thought we managed it very, very well. And obviously, once you get to the final, your phone just blows up and it's been non-stop ever since. So obviously we'll probably go on to it, but the fixture date of the 23rd when I'm supposed to play away to our growth, which is not possible because I need to take my girls to a cup final. The first time in the club's history, the, the women's side have got to a national cup final and I think it'd be absolutely crazy if my manager can't leave them out. What, is, is there been any progress in that? And what would be your preference? Is it easier for, for um, the game against our bros to be changed and to be tweaked? Uh, or would you look for a change of date for the final itself? Well, when the SWPL put it out, they had said it was either going to be the 24th or the 24th. So me just reading into that, that tells me that Time Castle is available on the Sunday. So I think that would be the easiest solution. But whether those guys can facilitate that, then that's a different question. So there's a lot of things moving parts still to happen, but I believe that there was maybe chats yesterday morning, but nothing's really came of it as of yet. But I'd imagine over the next couple of days and maybe the next week, there might be some answers, hopefully, because I want it resolved as quickly as possible. I would imagine to you that some of your players, if you're a part-time club, like all your players juggle other professional commitments, academic commitments. Is the Saturday fixture an issue that way too? Well, some of them potentially have work, so that could be an issue. So there's a lot of moving factors in this. Obviously, we had it earlier on in the season where we missed a couple of key players going up to play Aberdeen on the Thursday night, but we managed to go there and get the three points that night. But can you imagine you had to miss a cup final because you had your work? You you mentioned that there have been positive discussions. Has, has there been any hint that the Sunday could be the most viable option? Not exactly confirmed or anything like that, but there, there is a possibility. I'm led to believe that Tyne Castle is available. So we just need to wait for TV maybe, potentially, because they've got the rights to the game and sometimes the TV take control of things like that. So. It might be out of my hands, it might be out of the w SWPL's hands, so we just it's a waiting game, it's, it's a very frustrating waiting game, don't get me wrong, but we just need to wait patiently and hopefully we can get it resolved one way or another. Have Rangers intimated that they would be amenable to the, the date change? I'm not even considered Rangers, I'm being honest, I'm just trying to consider my players and my club at this time. I would imagine a full-time outfit could facilitate a Sunday because the girls usually play on a Sunday anyway, so I don't see that being a problem. So we just need to, well, we need to get our head to the table and try and work out the best outcome here. It's a bit of a night, nightmare situation, but listen, we are where we are. My team have done absolutely fantastic. They deserve all the plaudits they're going to get. And the fact that they're in this cup final is testament to them and their hard work this season. And I imagine for you too, it would just be, you know, unthinkable that you're not in the dugout for that game. Can you imagine, like, listen, I know my main job is the, the, the striker of Partick Thistle, that is my main job. And But can you imagine my mindset going out to their growth game when I know my women are playing in a cup final at the same time? It would knock me for six as well because your concentration level needs to be full for the game. And if you get two things going on at the same time, I'm sorry, but I can't cut myself in two and put myself in two different places. So I hope for myself and my players' selves that I get to lead them out because I would hate to miss that special occasion. The other aspect too is that it's a national final. We're, we're trying to promote the women's game that you really want the, the date confirmed as early as possible in the order that you can facilitate the promotion of the game, sell tickets for the game, make people aware of the game and, and be able to get along to it. Yeah, I think the big thing for me is I think Scotland play away on Friday night. So a lot of Thistle fans are actually Scotland fans and I know quite a lot of them are travelling. So for, for them to try and get back for the Saturday, 
it doesn't really, it's, going to, it's not going to be a real spectacle if we can't get a lot of fans there. We want to try and promote it. I've spoken about this before in the past that if in the men's side, if it was Celtic Rangers at Hamden, it'd be a full house. Further the line, that's what we're trying to achieve in the women's game, where if there's a National Cup final, we want a full house. So we want to try and get supporters there as possible. And I think this Saturday for the fifth supporters, it'd be slightly hampered. So if I think it, if it was on the Sunday, you would probably get more Thistle fans along as well and, and make it more of a, a spectacle and a final and more punters in the door. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. I think uh, today is your fourth anniversary of, uh, of of signing for Thistle. Could you have envisaged being in this position when, when you signed 2020? If a lot's happened in these four years, that's for sure. It's been a roller coaster. But at the same time, it, for me personally, it's probably been an absolute fantastic move. It's worked out for both camps. Like sometimes a player moves to a club and it doesn't really work. I've came here, I scored a lot of goals in my time here. I've took on the manager's job of the women's side and we've, we've progressed so far in a short period of time. We're battling out for our second consecutive season to finish top six. We're in a national final. We're still in the Scottish Cup. What, how we progress so quickly and it's testament to my players and it's testament to hard work for, to my staff as well in the background that we'll try to strive and put the club move them forward. And I dare say too the fact that you're you're one of the part time sides in the league you're, you're punching significantly above your weight in the SWPL. Yeah, we are. But listen, I know we're part time, but it's what the big thing for me. What I've tried to change since I took the role was the mindset of my players. I know we spoke about it on your show before, and they gave me a wee bit of stick with that word belief, but. You need to have that belief going into any game. It doesn't matter if you're part-time or full-time against any outfit that you can go and win the game. And that was kind of the message at the weekend. We knew we are a good side. We knew we know the talent we've got changing room. And we know at first hand how hard my girls work. So going into the game, I was full of confidence we could get the result. The game through in Middle Bank early in the season in the league where we won 2-0 as well against Hibs was a different game because I thought Hibs had a lot of chances that day, but going back to Sunday, apart from the first 15 minutes, Megan Cunningham's not a safety make. I know they hit the bar with five minutes to go, but that was probably their real effort at goal to really trouble us. Apart from that, I thought my two centre halves and my midfield were absolutely phenomenal. My strikers and my two wingers were pressing from the front. We had a game plan, and, and I thought it worked really, really well in, in horrendous conditions. I mean, belief for the final, there's no one's been able to get one over Joe Potter's side this term. For me, they're the best team in the country, but as I just said to you, we're not going to get any... We're not just coming, well, wow, we're in a final, party this, we're in a final. We're coming to try and win. We're not going to go there and just sit back and try and defend for 90 minutes and try and keep it as low scoring as possible. We're going to try and attack Rangers and try and get at them. I know how good Rangers are, the firepower they've got at the top end of the pitch. But at the same time, I believe in my group of players that we can, we can cause a massive upset. The, when you look back at how far they've come and... The, the challenges that you face yourself in terms of combining both those roles, just how tough can it be at times? To be honest, it was really tough at the weekend because you're travelling up to Inverness to stay overnight to play in Ross County and Dingwall. You're getting back probably half ten at night and then you're up for a massive semi-final. So you've got all the emotions in your own game on a Saturday and then you've got all the emotions in your own coming the next day for the women's game. So I probably never slept much at the weekend, I've been honest. And then the fact that they won't win the game and get to a final, I probably never slept Sunday night either because you get that such a high and that such a buzz of adrenaline running through your body. So it's trying to catch 20 weeks when I can, but I'm full on when you've got two kids and you've got a dog, there's no many times for 20 weeks. So I'm really enjoying both roles. It is demanding, but at the same time, I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't enjoying it. You might need your Red Bull to get through it, but I imagine it must have been a pretty perfect weekend for you. It was incredible and listen to football, I always speak to my girls about it, like there's highs and lows and there's no in between, so you've got to take that off with a smooth, but when you when you get such a high at the weekend, you need to really embrace it, you really need to enjoy that feeling and you need to strive to get that feeling again, so, but it's straight back to business tonight at training because we'll get another massive away game against Montrose on, on Sunday where we, we need to go there and try and win to try and cement this top six as early as possible. And then hopefully once we do that, then it's my aim is look up the way. Can we split the end of our sides? Can we get fifth, fourth? 
try and get a result against the top three side. That's all the things that we and Madrid are players are speaking about at the moment. I imagine too, the girls will be desperate for news of the fixture. You want it settled as early as possible. It means your friends and family can get organised and I'm sure all the players' families want to come to the game to see their, see their kids playing in a, a national final and they deserve it. So I want a bigger crowd as possible. So if we can get the date sorted as quickly as possible, everybody knows, right, this is a set date. This is definitely it. Then things, wheels can get in motion and things can get set in stone and we can go and start getting tickets and everything can get sold and we can try and have a real spectacle of a National Cup final. Listen, we appreciate your time. Thank you as always, Brian, for coming on. And please, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel.